Okay, we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna go for five covered bridges and a beer in one afternoon. Spoiler alert, we did it. All right, so while we're driving down there, uh, I thought I'd throw in a little bit of useless trivia. If there's anything that I have, it's a lot of information that's fairly well useless. Uh, right now we're driving on Main Street in Keene, which is uh, now a, a lovely uh, downtown area with a boulevard of trees and a couple of lanes of traffic going each direction. But back in the 50s, I found, well, I, I didn't find it. It was a postcard from the 50s that I found recently uh, that bragged about Keene having the world's widest Main Street, the widest paved Main Street. Why that was something to brag about, I will never know, uh, but apparently it was. So I, uh, I made a video the other day, uh, a couple weeks ago, about the, uh, the Dummerston Covered Bridge. And a friend of mine commented on it that uh, he really liked the video, but he was bummed that uh, there was no evidence of me walking across the bridge. Uh, I obviously did, because I took a bunch of pictures from both sides, but uh, he didn't see any evidence, so he was really, uh, he gave me a hard time for that. So today I'm going to try to see if I can come up with a way to make walking across a bridge interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so we're at the first of our covered bridges today, uh, the Crescent Bridge in, uh, in Swansea. And uh, there's a really sweet little uh, swimming hole here. I'll take some pictures and make sure I share those with everybody. Uh, but this bridge is uh, the first of our tour, uh, and I found out at the beginning that there was a, uh, in the parking lot, there's a sign um, for a uh, Bike the Bridges tour, and it's, uh, it hits four of the bridges that we're going to do today, or, yeah, four of the bridges that we're going to do today, uh, and it's a pretty easy loop, so I'm going to have to try that sometime. Uh, so New Hampshire has a, uh, a registry of covered bridges, and each one gets a, uh, a highway sign that points you uh, off the highway toward the uh, toward the bridge. I have no idea how many of them there are. These roadside signs look a lot like well, like this. They are uh, uh, pretty helpful. I think one day it might be a neat road trip just to kind of hit all of them in order or something like that. We'll see. Okay, we just pulled up to the Carrollton Bridge. <laughs> The bridge was built in 1869, so it's a little bit newer than the one than the Crescent Bridge we just left. Uh, but interestingly enough, it's the only surviving uh, local example of what's called a Queen's Post Bridge. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, except that it's uh, it, it resembles a method of construction that's used in churches and other large buildings like that. Okay, we're back on track. I uh, got a bonus stop for us because I took a wrong turn. So we're gonna be at, uh, taking a stop at the uh, Swansea Lake, uh, which is a nice little uh, lake, I guess. While I'm driving on uh, one of New Hampshire's many, many, many bumpy roads, uh, might be, a, it seems like a good as time as any to uh, ask you to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below if you, uh, if you like this new kind of one day road trip uh, format that I'm going to try out, or that I'm trying out. Good gracious. All right, now we're back on track. We're coming up on the Slate Bridge. Uh, I need to look up where the name came from, because uh, it's not made out of slate. Uh, it's made out of wood. And I'm going to cross that thing off the list uh, that I told you about, where I was trying to get a picture of me or a video of me driving across the bridge. So we're going to drive across it and park on the other side, just so that uh, Dave will be happy. Here you go, Dave. We're driving across the Slate Bridge. Unfortunately, the bridge is a uh, is a reproduction. It's a it's a fairly new bridge built in 2001 uh, because the original, built in 1862, 1862, uh, was destroyed by arson in the 90s, uh, the 1990s. And the original bridge, I don't know what the current one is, but the original bridge is what's called a town lattice bridge. Uh, I really need to talk to an engineer and figure out exactly how that works. Now I'm starting to get the feeling or get the impression that town lattice means that 
the uh, I don't know why the name town comes into it, but the lattice is the, uh, the lattice shaped beams uh, or arrangement of the beams on the inside. All right, so we're learning together here. Uh, hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong and you know that, please uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and you know, help me learn a little bit. All right, next stop, we're gonna leave Swansea for just a minute and go check out the Coombs Bridge, uh, which oddly enough, I think is the only bridge on this trek today that's not red. All right, so one of the many things I love about New Hampshire is uh, our creativity in naming roads. Uh, I live in Keene. The road that goes to Roxbury is called Roxbury Street. The road that goes to the west side of Keene is called West Street. The road that the courthouse is on is called Court Street. You get where I'm going with this. Uh, this is no different. We just uh, crossed onto Coombs Bridge Road, uh, at the end of which is Coombs Bridge. If you can't be creative, at least be descriptive, I guess. Okay, we just came up on the Coombs Bridge, uh, and this is a moment of uh, asking you shall receive. So uh, I'll get to that in a second. So the Coombs Bridge is one of the oldest bridges around. Uh, at, uh, it was built in 1837. It's about halfway between the town centers of Swansea and Winchester. And it's another town lattice bridge. But this time I get to actually tell you what a town lattice bridge is. So the lattice is in fact the crisscross shapes like that. And the, um, but the name comes from a guy named Ethiel Town. Ethiel. I-T-H-I-E-L. I can honestly say I've never met anybody named Ethiel. But anyway, there we go. We have the reason why a town lattice bridge is called a town lattice bridge. Uh, anyway, bridge built in 1837, re renovated in, in 1969, and again in 1997. Uh, built by either of Anthony Coombs or Anthony Coombs Jr. And that's about it. So next up is the mill bridge, or at least that's what I call it, because uh, it happens to be right by a mill. And it's uh, the one closest to the brewery, which is the most important part for me at this point, because I'm pretty thirsty. And uh, so let's go see if we can find out more about the uh, mill bridge. Okay, so we're at the Thompson uh, Covered Bridge, the last of our five bridges for today. And it's right there, actually, you can see it. Uh, that wasn't strategic at all. And uh, this is actually older than the Coombs Bridge. I thought the Coombs Bridge was the oldest one on the, uh, on the trip, but it's not. This one was built in 1832. Um, this is a town lattice bridge as well, but interestingly enough, you can, because of the open sides, uh, which a lot of these bridges do not have, you can see the town lattice structure from the outside. Okay, so that was the West Swansea or Johnson uh, Bridge, the last of our five covered bridges in one afternoon. God, I love living in New Hampshire. So next stop is another reason to love living in New Hampshire, and that's a beer at one of our many, many, many local craft breweries. So I'll see you at West LA. All right, so we had five covered bridges today. We got the Crescent, the Thompson, the Coombs, the Slate, and the Carlton Bridge, not necessarily in that order. But uh, it was a lot of fun. We got to see some really cool stuff. I learned um, what a town lattice bridge was. I got to somehow meet a guy named Ethiel. That's not something you do every day. And so, uh, yeah, if you ever find yourself in the area, check out these bridges, check out this road trip, and more than anything, check out this beer. In the end, have a good day, be kind, and keep exploring. All right, get out of here.